Whether you're just starting with Canva or already a pro, there are always new apps in Canva that might surprise you. I searched everywhere and couldn't find a complete video covering all the text apps available in Canva, so I decided to create one myself. In this video, I'll walk you through eight incredible Canva text apps that will take you from zero to hero, help you master text effects and elevate your designs to a whole new level. A little about me, I'm Mai and on this channel, I help you make the most out of Canva. I've been using it for over two years and can't wait to share what I've learned to help you take your skills to a next level. Let's dive in. The first text app I want to show you today is FontFrame. It's a super cool tool that lets you add an image background to your text. It's so easy to make your text stand out with this app, so let's dive in and see how it works. First, head over to Apps, search for FontFrame and click to open it. At the top, you will see a live preview of your text where you can edit it before adding it to your design. I'll be uploading an image from my computer for this example, but you can also use any image from your Canva design. Just select the image and the bottom will become clickable. Super easy. Once you've got your image loaded, you can increase or decrease the size of the image inside the text and you can reposition it in the preview if you need to. I'm going to change the text to Autumn to match my design. Next, let's go to Settings. Here you can change the font, there are tons of great options to choose from and you can also adjust the alignment and the outline thickness. For this design I want a much thinner outline and I'm changing the color to grey so it blends nicely with my overall theme. You can also adjust the letter spacing and if you're working with more than one line of text, the line spacing as well. Once you're happy with everything, just click Add to Design and your text will appear on your canvas. Now you can resize it or crop parts of it to get creative. For this design, I'm going to cut the AUNT from Autumn and add a regular text layer on top in the same light yellow background color to create a beautiful contrast effect. It's such a simple trick, but really makes the design pop. Let's move on to the next app. The second app I want to show you is Type Cutout. It's pretty similar to Font Frame, but the settings are a little different. Some of you might find this one easier to work with, depending on your preferences. Like the first app, this one also lets you add an image background to your text. To get started, head over to Apps, search for Type Cutout and click on it. First, type in your text. For this example, I'll go with summer and place it on two lines. Just like with font frame, you will see a preview of your text right here. I'm going to switch the font to something bold and thick to really make it stand out. You can also adjust the alignment and line height here to get everything just right. Now let's add an image background to the text. I'll upload this image from my computer. To scale, rotate or reposition the image, click on start edit mode and then you can move the image around however you like. Once you've got it where you want it, hit finish editing and you will see the changes in the text preview. You can also switch the preview background between light and dark to help you see the details better. Once everything looks good, click add to design and your custom text will appear on your canvas. Just like the previous app, you can resize or crop parts of it to fit your design. I'm going to make mine a bit bigger and add some other elements to wrap it up. Alright, that's type cut out. Now let's move on to the next app, TextMaker. It lets you create all sorts of custom 3D text effects and when I say all sorts, I really mean it. There are tons of options, so let's head over to apps, search for TextMaker and check it out. Once you're in, you will see a huge variety of text styles to choose from. Each style has its own unique settings and effects. There's so much you can do here that I could honestly make a whole new video just on this app. If you'd be interested in that, let me know in the comments. To get started, you can search for the style you're looking for or just use the filters to narrow things down. I'll go with this comic book style because it's perfect for my design. First, I'll type in my text. Let's go with splash. You can see it right away in the preview. You can also choose a different font, but I'll stick with the default since it fits the design so well. 
And like before, you can adjust alignment, line height, and letter spacing to get the perfect look. Now, here's where things get really fun, the effects. Um, going with a 3D effect, I can change the direction the text is facing and adjust the angle for a more dramatic look. There is also an option to control the transparency and even change the color. If you want, you can make it a gradient for a little extra flair. Once you're happy with it, click Add to Design and you will get a choice of quality settings. You'll need a pro account for higher quality options, but medium is usually good enough for most designs. Let's add that to my canvas. Another cool feature here is the option to create two depth layers, which gives your text even more dimension. Now, let's try another effect. I'll enable the jiggle effect, where I can adjust the angle and amplitude to give the text some playful movement. I'll add this to my design too. This app has so many styles and effects to explore, I definitely encourage you to play around, try different styles and see what works best for your projects. And with that, let's move on to a whole different text app, Typecraft. With Typecraft, you can bend, wrap, twist, and really get creative with your text. Head over to Apps, search for Typecraft, and let's get started. For this design, I want to create three separate text layers and then combine them on my canvas. I'll start by typing in Evolve. You can change the font, but I'm sticking with the default one here because it looks great. In the style settings, you have options to make the text unfilled or add an outline. You can change the colors for both the text and the outline and adjust the border width for either style. But for this design, I'll skip those and get straight to the fun part, shape editing. Here you can mirror the points so that changes on one side reflect on the other. I'm going to drag the points to customize the shape exactly how I want. For the middle section, I'll switch off the mirroring to stretch just the upper part. Once I'm happy with it, I'll add it to my design. If you deselect the text element, the app will reset, ready for a new shape. Now, I'll add the word OR as the next text layer. This time, I'll set the mirror points to be vertical, adjust it to fit under Evolve, and then add it to the canvas. I'll quickly position it and move on to the last text layer. I'll speed through that part since you get the idea by now. One last pro tip, you can still edit any text element after adding it to your canvas. Just click on the element, make your adjustments and hit update element. I'll tweak or a bit, then finalize my design. All right, that's Typecraft. Now let's move on to another fantastic text app that I personally love, Type Extrude. This app lets you add 3D extensions to your text, transforming it from flat to dynamic. Head over to Apps, search for Type Extrude and click to open it. First, you will see a preview of the text you're creating. You can change the background to dark if that's more comfortable for you. I'll type in my text, highest in the room, for this example, and change the font to Anton for a thicker, bolder look. Here, you can adjust the alignment and line height if needed. In colors, you have the option to change the text color and the extrusion color separately. You can also control the outline thickness, extrusion angle, and most importantly, the extrusion length. I'll increase the length and adjust the angle so it fits perfectly into my canvas. When you're ready, hit Add to Design and the text will appear on your canvas. I'll resize and position it to fit. If you want to edit the text later, just click on the element, make your changes and hit Update Element. 
To finish, I'll add a noise background layer on top to give it some texture and then we're ready to move on to the next app, Magic Morph. With Magic Morph, you can transform the look and texture of text and shapes simply by entering a prompt. This time, let's start by adding the text directly onto the design. I'll add three text boxes with the word free, the, and joy, and set each to a handwritten style font. Next, I'll go to Apps, search for Magic Morph, and open the app. To begin, I'll select the element I want to modify. It doesn't have to be text, you can use Magic Morph on shapes as well, but for this tutorial, I'll focus on text. Once I've selected the text element, I can see it previewed at the top of the app. Now, I'll describe the look I want, a creamy milk splash effect, to match the design theme. If you're stuck for ideas, you can also explore the suggested examples for inspiration. Once everything's set, I'll hit Magic Morph and it will start generating the effect. The app will give me four style options to choose from, I'll click on one to add it to my canvas. But I might try another one if I like it better. If I'm happy with it, I'll delete the original text box since it's no longer needed and then move on to the next word. After selecting it, I'll see it again on the top, same prompt and hit Magic Morph. The process is the same for each element. If I'm not completely satisfied with the first set of results, I can hit Create again to generate four new options. Once I'm happy with the look, I'll adjust the positioning slightly and we're ready to move on to the next app, Type Gradient. With Type Gradient, you can easily add gradient color text to your designs. I'll start by going to Apps, searching for Type Gradient and opening it. At the top, I'll see a preview of the text, but first let's add our text. I'll type in all caps, dream big, the rest will follow, and stick with the Anton font because it's fit perfectly with my design style. I may adjust the text alignment slightly or keep the default. And I also tweak the line height just a bit to get it looking right. Now, onto the colors. Each color circle in the gradient can be clicked to customize. I can set each one to any color I want, and if I want to add more colors, I simply click anywhere along the gradient line to add another color point. I'll experiment by adjusting the colors and moving the circles until I get the look I want. To adjust the gradient direction, I can drag the dots at the top to change the angle. If I ever want to start fresh, I can hit Reset Position to set the dots back to their original layout. Once I'm happy with the result, I'll click Add to Design and the gradient text will appear on my canvas. Now, let's move on to the final app, Type Lettering. For the final app in this video, I chose a simple one. Head over to Apps, search for Type Lettering and you will find 10 nice text templates to choose from. For this example, I'll go with this one. First, I'll change the text. You can select a different font, but I'm sticking with the default because it looks awesome. I'll adjust the line height slightly and now let's move on to the colors. The first color you see is for the preview background, it's just to help you see how the text will look on your design, but it won't affect the final result. I'll change the text colors to different shades of blue and green, then add it to my design. It's super quick and easy to use. And that's a wrap for this video. I hope you find it helpful. If you'd like me to create more videos about Canva text effects or if there's anything else you want to learn in Canva, just drop a comment below and I'd love to create a tutorial for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.